Hello and welcome as it is the uh, 28th day of March 2018. It's opening day for Major League Baseball. It's also the crypto day morning. All bets, trades of the like, well that's within each his own risk and their own reward. What kind of things could happen if the price of Bitcoin is able to get above this level of resistance? Maybe we'll find another level at 48, and then maybe we will again at 63. But if we do, what will we, what will we do there after that? For the opportunities and possibilities are not quite infinite, but quite many uh, possibilities that could come into play. How would an amazing run look onto this market that um, that may look realistic? And we're talking even end of the year, start of next year type of movements just for something to do I drew one up yesterday and what would happen if we got up to 6,000 well I know you can't see it too well on here but the bottom end right around rows number 2930 even 20 uh, that was just hanging in there at 6,000 but by not being in Bitcoin you miss yourself an opportunity to watch your portfolio go down over 60 percent really quickly as you never know maybe it could go to 70 and pull back to like 28 and then get very symmetrical on us next year oh there's so many possibilities but when things go they can go really really good so now my next question would be the overall correction from the top that I drew in, roughly around uh, row number 90, would this be this of an aggressive, medium, or maybe not so aggressive, sideways correction? And the answer is most certainly not the first one, and very aggressive. Let's take a look at this, uh, what a log chart would look like. And it would be different, and that's why I say not so aggressive, because it would just be, just be a sideways comparison. So almost medium. But that, that was just me drawing around. I mean, there's so many different possibilities. It could be continuation of what it's doing, slow rise up to maybe nine or 10,000. Could be slow decline at 24. It could be fast decline lower. There's, the opportunities are not endless, but they're in high possibilities. Let's move on next to No Limit Coin Numero Deuce and No Limit Coin 2. Currently trading in at 259 and for quite some time has been stuck in this 18 average on the daily term time frame. And for me, I'm waiting to buy at 212, waiting to sell at 319. So I'm just going to hang in there and wait until it does its ne next task. And amongst it, this is a site that has poker games, hence no limit that's one of the game names and very popular phrases and it also does fantasy sports and as i mentioned today is the opening day of major league baseball and in last night's nba action i ended up putting a lineup that finished in first place at close to 350 points with Steph Curry scoring 61, Wayne Selden getting 35, Bruno, not going to pronounce his last name, getting close to 47, Derek Favors at 31, Felicio will call him at 26 and a quarter, Devin Booker with a fantastic 73, and I was thinking that through most of the day. Man, this guy could be set for this big game, and he's much cheaper than Russell Westbrook, and it worked out. Because at first I was thinking, well, there's no way of me being able to play him, and it was true. Kyle Kuzma... I'm not going to say a disappointing 20 and a half because I still managed a 10 point victory. And then Rudy Gobert at center with a fantastic 47 point uh, performance. And in a hot, top heavy uh, game where first place is really especially what you're going for, this is uh, a, a good payout within the game. There were 37 entrants, which meant on a 23,000 prize pool. What we'll do is we'll take 23,000, divide that by 37. Therefore, the average participant value is coming in at 621.6. It costs 500 to play this game. So therefore, it should be costing 
621 at fair value and even with rake maybe 650 to 670. So overlays they're occurring most days and overlay means that the odds mathematically are in your favor because the uh, prize pool divided by the entrance that number is higher than the buy-in. And among the page what we will uh, what we could end up seeing is things like uh, well up, up top I want to talk about this advertisement as last year they literally gave away one seat to the World Series of Poker right there they have WSOP main event satellites at no limit coin poker and it was free last year and the, the poker game is 10 grand plus the little bits on top hotel accommodations the same thing uh, travel expenses and miscellaneous cash just to pay for, well basically to pay for your expenses and that's a magnificent promotion overall now going back to the fantasy for today right now one person not me because I got zero has uh, made a team for today again we're gonna be looking at about 30 something people maybe it might get to 40 I was a little disappointed with their last decision when they used to have not only this game but a 100 game it would have a hundred people and they generally would get up to like 70 people maybe in the 60s and they removed the game I probably thought it might have been more effective maybe to bring it down to about 80 participants but it is of course their decisions the greater decisions the more happy of course so on and so forth but today is all about baseball and there is still an overlay in the game so it's it's still good it just wasn't as good as it was it's not as good as it was before but right now as far as major league baseball is concerned we got some games today. We got the Yankees Orioles, the Nationals Mets, the Brewers Cardinals, Phillies Braves, Blue Jays Tigers, Rays Astros, Rangers Cubbies, Athletics Angels, Dodgers Diamondbacks, and that's just to name a few of them. But unfortunately, as of now, and this is about 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, there isn't any contest available for the past few days, weeks, and months. When I click on the baseball tab, a oh, message comes up. Baseball, is, we're not in season. Please check back on March 28th for the new season. Well, today's March the 28th. I'm hoping it gets done soon, but more importantly, I'm hoping the game selections that are available are very, very pleasing. And what happens over the next, uh, we'll have to say six hours and 24 hours will determine a lot about how I'm going to be playing this coin moving forward as I am a little uneasy if they just forget or don't or they're just unable to get it done today given I was expecting waiting yesterday well, it was probably going to be lineups like f day before I mean normally on baseball or basketball you might as well just put it up in the morning or the, yeah, the morning or the late night before. But when you have things like opening day, you can kind of put those up a day or two earlier. And unfortunately, that hasn't been the case yet. The basketball season is coming close to an end as it's coming down to the crunch time where it's going to be impossible for me to play LeBron James moving forward. It's going to be really interesting plugging in guys you never heard of like was the case... Well, I had two basketball lineups. In my other basketball lineup, I played two guys I really never heard of before. And a couple of guys in there I barely heard of in my one that I won. But that's what's going to happen. A bunch of guys coming in in basketball at the end of the season that are going to be playing the last few days as there's mega resting for playoff teams. And there's mega resting even for teams out of the playoffs, like LeBron James, Anthony Davis. Uh, as they rest their key players, even though they got nothing to play for. And then if you're like in a playoff race for like the Western Conference or even the Eastern Conference, I mean, do you really want to get in? You got no chance of beating the Raptors, Milwaukee, or Golden State. So, I mean, why even try? And I, I mean that 
somewhat sarcastically because it is kind of realistic, but it is an unparad. I mean, it's, it's just a terrible playoff sport because hockey playoffs were coming in where all six teams have a realistic somewhat chance of pulling it through, although tougher for the bottom end teams like Columbus and uh, the such. But any team has a chance. I can't say that about the National Basketball Association. All right, then. Yeah, so, yeah, Golden State has a chance of winning. That's about it. I'm, and I'm kind of kidding because I guess they could lose, but it's, I mean, if they don't, it's basically like 80% they win, 20% somebody else wins. And if it's somebody else, you're looking at a team like Houston, Toronto, Milwaukee, or Philadelphia, or Boston. There's not many other teams. Oh, by the way, how about that Western, Denver, Denver, too. Other than them, there's not many other teams. Okay, well, I talked a lot about basketball. Uh, baseball this season, I'm looking forward to Vladimir Guerrero Jr. and uh, Bo Bichette on the Toronto Blue Jays as they are third baseman and shortstops coming up to the big leagues. I was a little disappointed that they uh, didn't make the team yet, although Bo Bichette, or not Bo, Bo Bichette, I was disappointed he didn't make the team. Vladdy Guerrero had weight problems, so I'm not, I kind of would have cut him too, maybe, although if that was a problem. And Toronto teams are crazy. They're just really interesting. The Leafs are heading to the playoffs very soon. And I've been frustrated for two years and how the Raptors have been playing Jonas Valanciunas. And I was thinking, well, maybe he just can't handle the minutes. Oh, they trade him to Memphis, and he's just kicking ass there. Yeah, thank you, Toronto. Anyway, thank you for tuning in, and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.